I'll never forget, I came here to Cleveland in 2004 after the election, which was so close and Ohio was so pivotal, to have a hearing with Stephanie about voting. Because there were lots of reports that young people and African Americans in Ohio were waiting in line for hours to vote. University campuses didn't have enough machines, didn't have enough places. But right next door, people showed up and could vote in 10 minutes. 10 hours versus 10 minutes. And I see some heads nodding who remember that. Stephanie and I listened to the stories, mostly from students, mostly from African Americans, some of whom showed up with flyers telling them the wrong time and day to vote. They brought it as evidence that in this great democracy, the longest democracy in the history of the world, there were people who got up every day trying to think about instead of getting people to vote, to exercise their constitutional rights and responsibilities to stop them from voting. Well, I'll tell you what, we're still in the midst of that. If Stephanie were here today, just like Marsha does every day, she would be standing up speaking out, it's wrong. Republicans are doing everything they can to prevent people of color, young people, people with disabilities, older people from voting. It's disgraceful, and as president, I will do everything I can to make it possible for everybody to vote, and I want to see universal registration for all 18-year-olds so that you are recognized as a citizen. This is going to be a big part of this election. You know, folks don't prevent you from voting just for the fun of it. They prevent you from voting because they don't think you'll vote for them. So we're going to have to really stand up. On, I don't care what you are, Democrat, Republican, Independent, Green, you name it. Everybody should be encouraged to vote. Otherwise, our democracy doesn't work the way it should. And that's what we're going to be pushing through this election and then when I'm in the White House.